Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. Here I am starting a new series called as SolidJS Tutorials. And in this SolidJS Tutorials, we will learn complete about SolidJS framework and how it works from end to end. And in this series, we will cover all the concepts of SolidJS from basic to advanced. And why we are using this SolidJS and what is the alternate for this or why this came as an alternate for other frameworks so we'll see all of them but this is my first video on SolidJS that is about introduction to SolidJS now let's understand some set of features of this SolidJS so here these are some features which are given by SolidJS the SolidJS is a declarative programming language and it is reactive in nature so what is this reactive in nature and how it differs from other frameworks in SolidJS and how it gave us more features or more advantages compared to other frameworks and it is just a small kilobytes that is 6.4 kilobytes of size and it will not use virtual DOM like react it gives a very high performance compared to any other frameworks and here we will not have re-renderings whenever you have your functions or the code which need to be executed that will not have re-rendering and this reactive in nature and re-rendering process we will see in the next slides and it is similar to your react it looks like react the way how we write the code it looks like react and it is taken from the motivation of hooks so you will not have any class components or class level of approaches like react but you will have only functional components or functional level of features that contains a hooks concepts and it has its own hooks which helps us to make our application very simple with high performance and it uses JSX same like react it has a function which will return a JSX code that function with JSX code is called as component so they are called as a solid components and it has other more features like server side rendering context API lazy loading routings everything we have in SolidJS so it is providing you all the features similar to other modern frameworks of JavaScript let me go into history and who founded it so history and the founder the founder of this SolidJS is Ryan Carnito and he founded the SolidJS in 2018 but nowadays it became very very popular so from 2018 till 2023 this SolidJS was not in a hype but now everything coming up with SolidJS and it became more popular with its performance feature so now let's understand about reactivity of this so reactivity in SolidJS let me consider I have a document that means a page where you have a div and a div h1 tag label paragraph and image there are some actions which are made by the user for example let me consider user updated the paragraph text so for example you have something like sai and it has been updated to solidjs then what will happen in normal frameworks and in solidjs in the normal frameworks it updates complete your dom that means document div div h1 label paragraph and image for example if you go with react there are something called as memos which helps us to memoize these particular renderings but here SolidJS will help us to memoize everything and it updates in a smooth fashion without re-rendering complete document or without re-rendering a complete component it will render only that particular paragraph and here as I said there is no virtual DOM it directly communicates with your DOM here the compilers whatever we are using they helps us to convert all our solid JS into vanilla JavaScript when it converted into vanilla JavaScript this vanilla JavaScript can communicate with the DOM in an easy fashion so that's how solid JS helps us in updating or rendering the UI in a smooth fashion with high performance for example this is the case which we saw so now if he is doing two operations one is user updated the paragraph text user changed an image these are the two actions did by the user on this particular document then SolidJS will update only these two something like this so if you see this after user actions only these two nodes will be updated without re-rendering any of the structure so this helps us to increase a lot and lot of performance 
because see in the react react is already a high performance but react always checks with its virtual dom and if something goes wrong in between the virtual dom and real dom it gets updated and it's re-renders whole structure or whole dom tree but here we are targeting only a specific nodes so that it will update only that particular locations instead of updating everything so that is a reactivity in solidjs in the upcoming videos we will go deep dive into each and every sections and how we can update this how we can use the hooks which are given by solidjs and how to install them how, how the flow will be going from one place to another place everything end to end we will see in this solidjs series but as of now i'll target only for the basic understanding of solidjs later we will go into an advanced concepts of solidjs Hope you like my explanation. If you like my video, like, share, subscribe to my channel for more updates. Signing off. Thank you.